So Derek, you spoke of having a background in the internet, and now you have this terrific out-of-home background, and you've also had marketing. How would you say the industry has changed in the past five years, from your perspective? Well, it's, I mean, for a long time we've been talking to the CMOs, have been talking about moving dollars to more innovative or alternative types of uh, marketing mechanisms, and uh, we're finally starting to see it. Again, they, they tend to be years ahead of the brand managers and, and the agencies, which, you know, inertia tends to drive them to do the, the same old things that they've been doing. Uh, the fact that in some of these venues, like ours, that you can combine broadcast with internet-like interactivity, where, you know, you can go from watching a commercial, clicking a button, and then telescoping in and suddenly being able to see a menu of offerings and then self-navigating to long-form spots on, you know, on a particular car model or, or seeing behind the scenes on a particular show. So it's, um, I think it's combining the best of both worlds in, in areas. It's, uh, there's a lot of things very attractive about the internet in terms of accountability, measurability, targeting uh, that wasn't in some of the, the more mass vehicles of broadcast. That's all changing. And as I had alluded to er, uh, earlier, you know, we're looking to take our next generation model, working with companies like Vidi and others, uh, of really doing some very interesting things when it comes to, uh, you know, sort of broadcast ads, ad buys. Derek, can you give me three predictions for the next five years? Well, I, I do predict that the digital out of home space will go through a, a serious consolidation and that uh, a number of players will, will surface there that do really start attracting uh, more serious budgets from the, from the bigger clients and agencies out there. Um, secondly, I think that uh, you will see new models of media purchasing taking shape um, in this new converged broadcast world. Uh, some of the bigger players, Google, Microsoft, online are going to be uh, very involved in that, in this space. And these are companies, I can tell by our own dialogues with these companies, the, the level of interest they have in, in some of these, these networks like ours. And I think thirdly on this is that the money will, will eventually follow. And I believe that, um, uh, that the money won't probably be coming out this year, like I would hope space, but it will still be conservative, mainly because it's we're recovering from this recession and people are going back to, again, sort of the safe havens of uh, that. But um, probably next year, I think we're, we're going to start seeing a, a more serious flow of dollars to these um, uh, new networks and new modes of, uh, of, uh, of converged media. So Derek, have I left anything out? Is there anything that you would like to add? Uh, the only thing I would say, again, is part of the future that brands should think about and, and how they could use some of these networks out there, in, in, for instance, in the hotel space, is they have the ability to become producers of content. You know, we, we talked in our network about the ability to, through our servers to, to introduce our own channels. So we could have a golf tips channel and hotel, and that could really be owned by a big financial services company, one that may already be very active in the golf area. Or alternatively, we have a relationship with Fashion TV where we have access to all of their content. We can repackage that, reskin it, reface it, and again, an advertiser or a sponsor could come in and play executive producer of that. Really, it, not only just run commercials or, or bumpers or banners around that, but really be woven in and throughout this content in a new way of really reflecting their brand and uh, in engaging or interacting with their audience in a way that they can't right now or they're not doing right now through just regular TV commercials or internet units. So I think that's something that I'm surprised there's not a greater rush towards that in interest. And maybe it's because we're not having enough direct dialogue with the clients because we're, we're still largely talking through agencies and it's complicated and it's new, but um, I think that's a really a huge untapped opportunity in a network like ours as well as in other networks out there. Well, thank you so much for your time. This has been absolutely fascinating. Oh, my pleasure.